Hey folks, it's Mike Murphy and today's quick tip is an Adobe Premiere Pro CC 2019. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up a stacked timeline, also known as a pancake timeline, where you can stack multiple sequences on top of each other. So in the timeline now, I have a 1920 by 1080 pixel sequence. I took all the footage over here in my bin from my camera and I just dragged it onto this one timeline. So now I want to create a new sequence that I can use for Instagram stories. So I can go to file, new, sequence, click on settings. In frame size for horizontal, we want 1080 pixels. And for vertical, since this is Instagram story, we want 1920. Down here in the sequence name, go ahead and give it a name. So now I have two sequences here in the timeline. So what I want to do is just go through all of my main footage here and just pick out the clips that I want to use for my Instagram stories sequence. Yet, when I go to the Instagram story sequence, I can't see that main footage anymore. So I'm just going to click on my beat Insta story sequence and I'm just going to drag it out. And you can see here, now I can drop this wherever I want here. I'm just going to drag it to the very bottom until I get that blue. And now I have a pancake or a stack timeline. I have my all footage on top and I have my beat Insta stories. And you can see this little blue bounding box is the one that's selected. Now I can just drag my scrubber all the way through my main footage here. And whenever I want to drag anything down into my Instagram stories, all I have to do is just simply drag it down there. I can toggle between the two timelines. Just click on it. You'll see the blue bounding box on the one that's selected. So I can preview what's in my Instagram stories. Or I can go back to my main footage here and just keep assembling things. You can resize the stack timeline by hovering your cursor in the middle there. And you can drag up and down. You can close a panel if you just want to go to one and close one of these sequences. You can click it and choose close panel. Or you can restore the way you had it in the original and just simply drag the timeline and put it back to where you have the tab view here. So my name is Mike Murphy and that is how you create stacked or pancake timelines to speed up your editing workflow. Cheers.